Attention, news. Today I want to share with you the method that I personally use to achieve what you are listening to and what you are seeing at the moment, which is nothing more than putting background music within a broadcast through StreamYard. I have already uploaded another video where I had a trick to achieve this effect. That it was by sharing a video, then leaving it hidden, without taking it to streaming, to the main screen. However, many of you wrote to me saying that this was a bit sloppy, because at the time you had to share something, because this did not work, the video appears on the screen or the music was cut when removing the video, etc. And so on. Well today I want to share with you the method that I use, I already tell you that it is not free. Obviously if you want a bit of professionalism, you will have to make even a minimal investment. I warn you because then right away you leave my finger down. So if you do not want to invest, you do not want to spend one euro on anything, or one dollar, then do not continue watching the it video not for because you. it is obvious. I'm going to tell you how I do it and it works for me. And the equipment that I have. It does not mean that you have to use this one but that you can use any other that is similar or that the result is the same that I am going to tell you next. Come on, let's get started. I tell you how? Let's go there. Well indeed, as I was saying, I am going to share with you the technique that I use, the method that I normally use to achieve this effect of background music. Very important. Before doing anything, you have to go to the stream yard settings and disable both echo cancellation and automatic volume adjustment. Now later I will explain the reason. Well, you have to bear in mind that stream yarder, to this day, does not allow us to share more than one audio source for each element we have on the screen. That is to say, through my webcam it will allow me to share an audio channel, which is the microphone, by the guest's camera, well the same, an audio channel that is a microphone by a shared screen. Canal de audio que es un micrófono por una pantalla compartida. The sound of that screen for a video, well the sound of that video. But it does not allow mixing between them, nor does it allow a source to have two channels of audio. So what are we going to do? Well, we have to get on the one hand the channel that carries the voice and on the other hand the channel that carries the music. So what we are going to use is a mixing console, an audio interface that mixes my microphone on the one hand and the music you are listening to in the background on the other. This will mix it up and a single channel will come out. And that channel is the one I'm going to take to the streaming, okay? Come on, I'm going to share with you the other camera that I have so that you can see the interface that I use. I don't mean that you have to use this one, but if it helps you, I'm obviously going to share it with you. My mixing console is this one that I am showing you here, that I am pointing out to you right now. It is super cheap, it does not reach $50. You can find it in Amazon. La puedes encontrar. I'm going to leave the link below, in the first comment, in case you want to take a look. As you can see, this has two audio inputs. In this first channel what I have is the microphone, which is connected by XLR, and in the second channel what I have is my iPad connected, which is the one with the music application where I'm launching the audio files. In this case I use an iPad because within the App Store there is an application, called BossJock, that allows me to do what it is doing here on the screen, which is, well, put the files separately, in the squares choose colors and then put a kind of loop so that the music never ends. And when it's over, start over again and so forth. You can also put fade in, fade out, and even, also, from here, I could also adjust the volume simply by lowering. Vuelvo a empezar otra vez y demás, y demás. Puedes ponerle fade in, fade out, e incluso además, desde aquí, yo podría eh, también eh, ajustar el volumen simplemente bajando esto. It is for you to know. So what do we have to have? Well, a microphone. In my case I have a Rode. This microphone sounds very good but it is not intended for anything other than mobile phones. So if you are going to use it on a computer, obviously you have to buy an adapter that transforms the output of the mobile phone, which would be this one here, with a 3.5 output which is what we need. And this 3.5 and XLR adapter, which would be this here. You can buy an XLR microphone directly if you want. I have also used some of these desktop, which are larger, in some live and it also works perfectly. In this case, I do not have a desktop microphone because it gets in my way inside the table and what I would do is give it. Algún directo y también funciona perfectamente. 
Yo en este caso no tengo ningún micrófono de sobremesa porque me estorba dentro de la mesa y lo que haría sería darle... Blows are some slap and it would make noise and also disturb. So with this tie, which is a road, I can move freely, I can move my hands and I have more space to work. Well, this is for the microphone. On the other hand, we need a cable that is connected to the headphone output of the iPad or mobile phone that you are going to use to play the music. And you also have to have two inputs here, which go to the separate mixer. Agree? It would be the channel in red which is the right, and the white channel is the left. That is to be heard in stereo. Blanco es el izquierdo. Esto es para que se escuche en estéreo. And then, here, what I have connected is an earphone. How are you seeing? Which is what allows me. This is here. That what allows me is to monitor the music. Because you are not going to listen to music through another site. That is, you can listen to the guest through headphones, but you do not listen to yourself, you cannot monitor yourself. This is another shortcoming that StreamYard has. Therefore, you will not notice the audio, the volume of what is playing. That is why I have this earpiece that I have connected here plugged into the mixing console and it allows me to listen to the audio level of the music that is playing. Voucher? It is simply for that. Well, more stuff. Obviously the mixer what allows me is... Bueno, más cosas. Evidentemente la, la mesa de mezclas lo que me permite es... Separately modify the volume, both of the microphone, which is this here, and the volume of the music, which is this here. From here I can play and upload and music and download it. And the same with my microphone. Why am I telling you this? Because you have to be careful, because once you have this system mounted, you cannot mute your stream yard mic. The moment you mute your microphone, you will turn off your microphone but you will also turn off the music. Remember that everything only comes out through a single channel, which is what leads to stream yard. So how should the microphone be muted? Directly from here, from this wheel in the middle here. You would simply have to lower the volume. I will not do it because if not. La rueda que está aquí al medio, simplemente tendrías que bajar el volumen. No lo voy a hacer porque si no. You would stop listening to me. You can also play with the profit. Here you can give more or less profit, and here you can also give more or less profit to the mix. This, I repeat, is the system that I use. There are many models of mixing consoles. This is one of the cheapest there is and that is why it is the one I use. I also bought it a long time ago and it has gone very well with it. As for the application, as you can see this is very easy to use. I think this application is free and what it allows is to change, very quickly, from one music to another, you simply turn off one and turn on another. And how do you see? Well, it starts playing right away. Voucher? Simply the moment to disconnect one and connect another. Conectas una y conectas otra. It is immediate, and you can even combine several as well, as you can see. Puedes combinar varios, como ves. And when a sound ends, it goes off directly. Que se apaga. Here it is already off and is on. This application is very intuitive. And when we are live, we have so many things at the same time, it's worth the applause. When we are live, we are doing so many things at the same time, we are 1000 things, with the guest, with the comments, with the change of scene, also with the music. Well, I think this application for me at least it is very intuitive. I know where I have each music, I know where I have each effect, and all I have to do is press a button and it plays. So nothing, this was what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you find it useful. Remember that, if you have not done so yet, now is the time for you to subscribe and activate the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos to my channel. And you can share it on social media with your friends. If you have any questions you can write your comment and ask me, I don't bite. And nothing, we continue to see each other in more videos like this here, video, on Wamaa Aranda's channel. A hug and see you very soon.